Video collections are brand new to Squarespace, and in this training, I am going to teach you all about how awesome they are. Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, your number one resource for customization codes that you can use to make your Squarespace website look awesome. In this free training, we're going to talk about this brand new type of collection page, and I'll teach you not only how to create a video collection, but we'll walk through all of the cool settings for the main list page as well as the individual videos themselves. Themselves. Let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and get started. Here we are in my demo site. I'm going to click into the pages menu and I'll click this plus icon right here to add a video collection page. You'll see it down here under collections. It even has the little new sticker because it's brand new at the time of recording this. I'll click on this and we'll get the option to select our video page layout. Now, just like with blogs and stores and all of that other fun stuff inside Squarespace, these layouts are super customizable, so don't worry about picking the right one. Let's go ahead and grab this one for starters, and we'll be able to edit that layout later. Okay, we have the video popping up here in our main navigation. Now, if your site is live and you're not quite ready to have that in your main navigation, go ahead and drag that down to the not linked section of your site so you can edit it. And if you want to make super duper sure that no one can see this content yet, click this gear icon and toggle off enable page. Disabled pages can't be accessed by site visitors. Only you will be able to see it when you're logged in. So I'll go ahead and select save. And there we go. It's now in the not linked section and we clicked this gear icon and we disabled the page so we can get to work on it, making some changes before we launch it to the world. Now I'm going to hop into edit mode and let's check out some of the settings inside this display page. Right here, you'll immediately see we can add a section above this list of videos. If you click add section, you can grab any of these pre-made sections, maybe a little intro banner. If you want to describe your video collection, even a gallery or a list, Whatever type of content you want to add, these are just the standard page sections that you'll find on normal pages. You can add them to the top of your video collection. Pretty cool, right? We can also add them at the bottom of the video collection as well. Maybe you want to have a prompt for someone to sign up for your newsletter at the bottom. Select add section, scroll down here to newsletter, and we'll just pop that one right there. And there we go. Standard page sections like you're used to working with in Squarespace. Now let's talk about this list of videos themselves. If we go ahead and click on this icon right here, we can edit the settings inside this video list page. Here you can adjust the number of columns two all the way up to four, if that's how many videos you want to display. Change up the horizontal spacing with a slider right here. Change up the vertical spacing with that slider right there and even adjust the placement of where the video thumbnail is. You can have it below the metadata or above the metadata and also change the spacing for how close it is or how far away it is from the text. After that, we have some text options for alignment, left, center, or right. And right here, you can toggle this on to show the description. The description is something we edit for each individual video, and I'll show you how to change that later. Right now, let's focus on this menu here. I'll pull that text back over to the left and let's scroll down. We've got title spacing slider here that separates the title from the description and then text content width. Do you want it to be as wide as the thumbnail or maybe a little less? Totally up to you. Now underneath that, we have categories type. This is set to sidebar and these are all the categories for our video. We'll go ahead and adjust these inside the video settings later, but for right now, let's take a look at what the top bar looks like. This will place it at the top of the videos. Sidebar will place it on the left hand side. Now primary meta content. This is what's displayed right here at the top of the title. I have category selected, but we can also select date if you want to as well. We've got both of those options there. And then after that, the delimiter style we've seen in blog posts before, you can have the bullet, the pipe, you can have the dash, or just a space if you don't want any symbol there at all. Totally up to you. All right, now last but not least, the final setting here are color themes. I'm sure you're very familiar with this after working with Squarespace. If you want to give it a slightly different background, change up the color of the text, all kinds of fun settings there. Whatever color theme you select, you can make changes inside this site styles menu. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and edit that. When we hop into the site styles menu, I just want to show you, you can change a lot of things about these video pages. If we start with colors, we've assigned the lightest one color theme. So let's click into this. 
And if I go ahead and click on the video section, it will narrow down all of the options. And here we can change the color of the title, the meta, the description, and even the category navigation links. Let's go ahead and change these to a bright red, for example, just so you can see how that works. Pretty cool, right? No custom code required. You can change all of the colors for the text on this page using the site styles menu. You can also customize the fonts. I'm gonna to navigate to my font menu here. And if we scroll down to the bottom and select assign styles, this will open up the additional styles available on this page. I'm gonna click on the videos again and check it out. We can change the font for the navigation, the title, the excerpt, and even the metadata. Let's say we want the metadata to be a handwriting font. I'll click into here. And instead of miscellaneous, I'll select custom. Now I can pick any font family I want by selecting browse all fonts. I'll grab Adobe Handwriting Tiffany. There we go. And check it out. Just the metadata is assigned to that font family. Pretty cool, right? Again, no custom code required. You can customize. Oops, let me click on that again. You can customize the category navigation, title, excerpt, and metadata to have its own unique font. Let's go ahead and navigate back, and I'll show you how I reach this menu one last time. We're here in edit mode. I click on this paintbrush right here. And if I select colors and click into the color theme that I've assigned, I can assign any color I want to the different styles of text. If I hop out of here and I click fonts, I can go ahead and scroll down to assign styles. Clicking on the videos page itself, it'll narrow down my list. And here I can hop into any one of these font styles and assign my own custom font, picking a font family, font weight style, all of that fun stuff super duper customizable using the design menu inside Squarespace. No custom code required, love it. All right, I'll go ahead and click close and we'll go ahead and select save and let's talk about the settings for this individual page before we jump into the videos themselves. If I click on this gear icon right here next to videos, this will open up our video settings options. Here we have the title of the page. That's what shows up in the browser window. You'll see this says videos two. After that, we have navigation title. This is what's gonna show up when you have it on your menu. And then custom URL, you can change this to whatever you want it to be. We also disabled the page, so we're working on it. You can password protect it if you want to. All of this done from your video settings. I'll go ahead and click close and show you one last time. We just click the gear icon next to the main collection page, and that's how we reached the video settings options. Next up, we have categories. Now this part is pretty darn cool. You'll notice these are not in alphabetical order. You can drag and drop these to rearrange them and put them in any order that you want. So let's say you want yoga for beginners to be the first, drag that category to the very top. You can easily add a new category by typing it here and assigning it to a video in the individual video settings, which we will get into, but this is where you can manage your categories. I'm gonna go ahead and click close because I wanna show you if we look at our main video list page, Yoga for Beginners is now at the top of the list. That's because we just rearranged the categories. So again, click this gear icon, and then let's hop into categories and pull Mindful Meditation to the top. If we put that at the very beginning and select close, take a look at our list. Mindful Meditation is now at the top. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's check out some of the other settings for our collection page. We have the SEO, which is pretty standard. Just add a title and description there. And if you're gonna do any custom code for the video collection, you can do that on the advanced tab, clicking into page header code injection. If you have some that's specific for this video list page, you can add it here. I'll go ahead and select close. And I'm gonna click on our videos to page so we can take a look at these individual videos themselves. Right here at the very top where it says all and we have this icon, I can click on this and access all of the videos. I'll go ahead and close this little pop up here. Access all of the videos in my collection. And if you want to rearrange them, go ahead and just grab any of the videos and move them to any spot in the list. And let's take a look at our list collection over here on the right hand side. We have now put Tuesday morning flow in front of mindful breathing techniques. Let's go ahead and pull this back in between Monday and Wednesday. And if we scroll down in the collection page, there we go, it's back in its proper spot. If you want to start with a specific category, click into the category and it will show you all the videos that have been assigned to that category. Now let's go ahead and start with this one right here, Daily Calm. I've just clicked on the video and now my video page is opened up over here on the right hand side. 
I'm going to go ahead and select edit and show you what our options are. Here we have the video at the very top and underneath we have all of the content associated with it. If I click this icon right here, all this will allow me to do is change up the format of how the information is displayed. I can toggle off categories or date if I want to, all kinds of stuff right there. And then header spacing just is a slider that will increase the distance between the title and the description of the video. And then colors allows me to pick a color theme if I want to assign it a unique color theme. Totally optional there. Now scrolling up, edit video is where the rest of our settings are. You'll notice as I'm clicking here, I can't actually click into this data. I can't edit the title. I can't edit the text. I have to click edit video to update that content. This is where the information lives. Here you can add the title of the video, upload the video that you want to use, and it'll give you a little reminder of how much video storage you have, which is pretty important. You can upload your own custom thumbnail and then add information in the description. Now you'll notice as soon as I clicked on here, I have my text editor bar, super helpful. Let's say you want to link to a transcript, for example. Um, we'll add a new line here that says link to transcript. I can highlight this, select this link icon, and here I can link to a page, or if I click the gear icon, I can upload a PDF transcript. Totally optional, have it trigger an email, a, a different page on your site, a phone number, or again, my favorite, upload a PDF of the transcript right there. I'll go ahead and select close, and we'll click back out of here, and I'll uncheck this, and we'll be good to go. Now, if I highlight this first part of my description, right here in the text editor, it says P2. I can click on this and say medium heading, and it will just change that sentence inside my content here. I can also add a block quote of text inside the description and that can be styled differently too. So you've got all kinds of text editor options inside the description, even though we can't add page sections. All right, now last but not least, we have the custom URL here. You can update this to be the title of your video or whatever you want it to be. Now under categories, this is where you can assign categories. So we have mindful meditation selected. We can also say, hey, this belongs in yoga for beginners, or we can add a new category, select add, and that will show up on our list and then click the checkbox. And now you have a new category for that video. We also have the status tab here, very similar to blog posts. You can select draft, published, or schedule a video in advance. How cool is that? And then SEO, title and description, pretty standard. There are no social share image options set up for videos at the time of recording this. Just underneath the content itself is where you can add a custom featured image, but no social share options. I'll go ahead and select save, and I'll show you one last time how we got there. Let's click into tips for better focus. Here we'll hop into edit mode and select edit video. Now we've got all those options we just went through. We've got the title right here, the video itself, add your own thumbnail here, and we have the description. You can highlight any of this text and use this text editor bar to change the font style or add an active link to something. I highly recommend adding transcripts if possible. Totally easy to do with these options right here. After that, we have the custom URL. You can label it anything you want. And then over here, we have categories. This is where you can add a new one or click that checkbox to assign it to a category. And under the status tab, you can schedule videos in advance, mark them as published so they're accessible, or even select draft if you're still working on it. Last but not least, our SEO option, add a title and description specific for the video. Again, there's no social share option at the time of recording this, but lots of other fun options. And I almost forgot to mention, super important, under the content tab, check it out, at the very bottom, you can duplicate this. So let's say you set up a video, you have all the description exactly the way you want it to be, scroll all the way down and select duplicate, and you can modify it for every single video in your collection, keeping the description style the same, so all you have to edit is the content. I'll go ahead and select save, and we'll click done, and we'll be good to go. That was a lot of content that we just went over, so here's a quick recap of the content you can have for each individual video. Each video has its own title, the actual video itself, the custom thumbnail image that's shown on the video list page, a custom description, and its own URL. Here's where you can assign categories, selecting any that currently exist or typing in a new one to add it. And you can also set the status, very similar to blog post, where it's either in draft mode, published so it's visible, or scheduled to have it published on a specific date and time. 
You also have an SEO option to add the title and description for every individual video. For the video list page, you'll have the title, navigation title, custom URL, the ability to password protect it, and enable or disable the page. I recommend disabling it while you're working on your content and then enabling it when you're ready to launch. Under the Categories tab, this is where you rearrange the order of the categories and how they'll be displayed on the video list page. You can also add new categories here. Under SEO, this is where you add the title and description. And if you have any custom code to add to your video list page, hop into page header code injection and place it right here. Keep in mind, if you want to change anything about the font, be it the font family, size, style, or color, use your site styles menu to make those changes. Alrighty, that wraps it up for your free training on this brand new type of video collection page now available in Squarespace. Click the link in the description below if you want to grab that free guide that I made. That'll help you keep track of all the information that you need to create your own video collection page. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.